welcome to um, Mountain Blade Warband, Anno Domini, 1257. As we've seen on the uploading and here on the starting screen, we've got battle scenes from medieval ages, where knights and soldiers basically slaughter each other. And um, this is the final version. They've finished this mod and um, there will be no more releases after this one. So if you want to, you can go to ModDB and um, download this one. Because you've got a full installer, you just have to um, start it up and it'll do all the job by itself. We've got the uh, 1.13 Angry Peasant Edition, which is what we shall see if it's good or not. It all depends on opinion. And we've got Start a New Game. We've got a Hanged King here. And again, more slaughtering and killing like it would be expected on ancient battles. I'm admiring the artwork of this because at that time they did know how to do many things. Wow. Well, hmm. So apparently we got two systems, which is the native, where we can recruit as you're playing on native, and um, you can start with the lance recruitment system. We'll try the Lance recruitment system because if they've done it, it must be worth trying. And this is the same as before, so we will have a um, traveling merchant. Why not? Started my early age as. Shop assistant, why not? Boy in childhood. No. And after this, we would be a goods peddler. And we do love money and power. Oh, look at that! We can choose to serve no one, do everything on a start base, which is a lot harder I think or you can go oh, I can't go back after this now can I previous no no apparently we're joining a a country under a flag let's see what countries they've got here they've got Teutonic Order Lithuania Golden Horde Denmark Polish, Holy Roman, Hungary, Novgorod, England, France, Norway, Scotland, Gaelic, Sweden, Halic, Portugal, mm. Aragon, Castile, Navarra, Granada, Papal States, Nicaea, Crusader, Sicily, Mamluk, Latin Empire, Ilkhanat, Hafsid Dynasty, Serbia, Bulgaria, Marinid Din Dynasty, Venice, Jodvintians, Prussians, Kuronians, Samagothians, Welsh, Genoa, Pisa, Gelps, Ghibellines, Bohemia and we're back due to my roots I will choose Portugal and 
that's it. Uh, allow me to quit with no saving, because I'm bad at this, I am. And we've got high intelligence, high charisma, low strength and agility. So that will give us um, give us ourselves three on strength, and I do or not. No, 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 no. This will not do, or it will, because that will give me two in pathfinding and spotting. It will be enough. So I'll just try to move into intelligence. So I will get myself a bit more extra points and we got no power strike. We'll sort that out. At least one master, weapon master. We've got three riding, so one shield, looting. Pathfinding, spotting. Hmm. Now I'll reset this. Sorry, guys. I still get. We'll get all these on. But first of all, first of all, we will get two pathfinding, two spotting. One of surgery, one of first aid. We need looting and Weapon Master 1. I'm betting. Yeah, I'll do that then. I'll do that then. We'll leave the shield for now. My name shall be Ricardo. Leguens. Oh, então melhor. Ricardo de Lagoa. That sounds like a proper name. And we shall improve our pole arms. Two handed and one handed. And we're done. So let us randomize. Got nice textures on the faces. Really nice. be shaved yep that will do we're done and let's see they dropped us near Lisboa here we go so let us see the world map and it's quite accurate well more or less a bit displaced here and there but it's really looks like a world map look at that we've got all this really well done we've got even the small islands up here That. 
amazing. Just look all the trouble they had to make a real like real like oh, they don't have a um, Sparta here but you can't have it all can we either way look at the size of this map and it still has room for a bit more amazing Wow right We will see our camp. No, I said camp. We've got walk around, disband lance forces, rebalancing options, rebalancing options? Ah. The game play will be more balanced, but it will not be as much fun. That's what I understood from it. So, we'll leave it as it is. Mod options. Travel speed. Shield bash. Speed bracing. Historical coat of arm usage. Yes, please. Marvellous. To reinforcement wage, troop wages, thief inefficiency, enterprise inefficiency. Wow, look at that. Lance breaking warning can cause crashes. So, tick or an untick. Well, we leave it on. If I crash, well, I'll take it off. So that was the mod options. Take an action. Oh, we can modify our banner. Now that means we can choose our banner from the start, I think. We've done it on our previous mod. I think it was the realistic mod. And uh, I do believe I'm going to choose a banner for myself. And since we come from Portugal, we'll have the rooster. Back to camp menu. Wait here for some time and resume. Yeah, here's our flag. Right, and notes. Since I start here, let me see if I have. I do. I have a small thief. Alcacer do Sal. Hmm. So, we've got 6,340 dinars. And. That's not too bad. Well, let's go to Alcácer do Sol and see what we have there. It seems a bit desolated, this land, but it's in a way nice to see that we've got no one chasing us right from the start. Hmm. Sell items, buy food, meet with the elder. Tasks. No, not yet. Manage the village. Has absolutely no improvements. Hmm. Mill, how much? 6,000. Oh, forget it. We don't have the money for that. Not yet, at least. Uh, invite local nobles to a hunt. And look at that. We look rather spiffy. We've got Joseph, John and Peter. Greetings, your lordship. Perhaps you called me here because you'd like me to represent you on the field of battle. Yeah, I would. Excellent. I require 300 gold coins. Sure, it's not that much, is it? So... Yeah. Same with this guy. 
same with this guy and these guys I don't think yeah yeah but just like that I just got for 900 dinars or 900 gold got Peter which is cavalry because he's on a horse Joseph also cavalry and John oh he's infantry he has no horse but we'll move him up and uh, look at that so let's recruit volunteers we've got 11 lancers let's get one lance and see how many um, what forces they have and with one lance we've got a latin mountain sergeant a latin man at arms latin royal skirmisher four commoner archers and seven levies Did it cost something? We got bread and butter. Now uh, it costs absolutely nothing. So let's just try to recruit one more lance. See the party goes. Yeah, we got more levies. It seems it's rather random what you get on the lances. So. You might get a bunch of cavalry or archers or infantry or you can have a, a bit more uh, balanced but let's recruit one more see what do we get we've got 46 men already got 570 dinars of expenses mm. mm -hmm. yeah we got more Latin rural levies than usual. Yeah, it's all rather random what you get, so... So what we'll do now is... Um, see what we can find... On the big town of Lisboa. Well, what this mod has less than the others is the uh, stream abundance of thieves and deserters. But we do have a tournament. Mm. I like the design of this. First we'll visit the tavern and see what we have here. Mercenary range and a drunk. I got a uh, short sword here. Hmm. I'll just poke the bear and see what he'll respond to me. Yay! Go on. Throw the first blow. Go on. Ouch. Yeah. Better him than me. And uh, did I get his sword? I got a Nordic sword, which is slower, but. Maybe better suited for horse riding. Mm, I'll keep them though. I'll keep them both. And we'll join the tournament. And you can join one on one tournament or team tournament. And I'll join the one on one. Since we've got 1A, let's bet some dinars and go bash some skulls. Mm. And uh, what do we have there? Is this uh, the Lords that we recruited? Seems so. 
Oh well. One thing I'm seeing is that. Ouch. Yep. We fight with our own equipment. And. Yep, we're fighting the lords that we hired, and we're winning. That's not too bad. And what's this? Yeah. Yeah. Look. Ah, oh, you can see here. You got John, Peter, and Joseph. They also won. One. They have one win each. So we got William Marshall. Two wins. Guy de Bavo. Two wins. Joaquin Cator wins one. And William de Henault. And let us bash some more skulls. And who is this? Oh my. This does not bode well for me. Yes, it does not bode well for me at all. Unless I can make a comeback with uh, the spear and keeping myself away from him. I've got absolutely no damage and I cannot pull out my sword. His sword is bigger, has a higher reach than my sword. The only thing I can do is try poke him with a spear. Oh my, this will not bode well for me. This. Yes. We'll have to risk it. And. We lost. So that means that that gentleman, it's either William Marshall or Guy de Baveau. <sighs> and we've got another extremely well armoured knight. And I'm just hoping I will not get myself poked by his spear doing absolutely no damage to him or his horse. That was a really close call. Tells me I will not survive this match either. At least we've got the horse down. And he has another long sword which will not give me any vantage. Spear is doing a bit of a damage, and I've got a big, uh, bigger long reach. Bigger long reach, yeah. Well, something's gonna break either my spear or his shield. And this is not doing any good for me now. This sword is more suited for... Cavalry charges. But still, depending where I hit... 
gives absolutely no damage at all. And yes! So we beat Guy de Beveau. We've got four wins. And if William Marshall and so we need to fight five, five times, we need to fight three, four, five, six, seven. Two more. And the other guys are as tough as these two. Yeah, and it seems they are. I will not. I will not last long. If you do hear a bit of a background sound, don't worry about it, it's just technical failures of having other people living in the same house. Shush! Hello! <laughs> Go away! Gentlemen, that was my wife. She loves to make me mad. Which is a good thing, which Meanwhile, I cannot. Oh no! Got distracted with all that. Hello! Nice horse you have. If I'm down, you're down. Yeah, he's got a short sword. Yeah! Thank you, dear. You just got me killed. Yeah, just look at that. I can't believe it. Peter has four wins too. How can this be? I need to win this one or else I'll be completely... Oh uh, no, heavily armoured knight. But no spear. We have... A bit of a chance if we take him down the horse and uh, don't see that thing happening because ouch this blinking horse is so much armoured I cannot get my horse dead because as you've seen before, if I'm off my horse, I cannot do anything to their armour. Blinking shield. Go on, can you break? Yes. I don't like to bump them with my horse because I'll lose um, speed. Therefore, damage. See, even if 54 speed, I got only got 3 damage done to him. So, let's try and get his shield to break. Unless my sword breaks first. Whatever comes first. This guy has... There we go. Come on. Try this side, and they deflected with the shield again. Yeah, somehow I'm seeing my horse dying, and me without doing any decent damage to him. Yeah, that that spear is already too blunt, and. William de Hinault. Tournament has ended, let's get drunk. And we come first place with uh, Guy de Baveau. And we still got 5,000 dinars. And we earned 6,500, placing bets on ourselves. And that will make me a rather rich gentleman. Look at that. Mmm.